Where we turn to recruiting for firefighters. It's a growing concern now across our country and also here at home. So Phoenix Fire is starting the process of hiring their next generation of firefighters as we speak. Yeah, so if you're interested, listen up. 12 News journalist Trisha Hendricks joins us live from Fire Station 61 with more on the department's hiring efforts. <laughs> Trisha, every time we go to you, you've got another piece of equipment on you <laughs> and you just look better and better. I think that there's a chance we go from journalism to firefighting because honestly, right. these are heroes in our community. Hey guys. So to be part of this is pretty incredible. 100% heroes. And this is just a glimpse at what they have to wear. We're talking uh, 60 pounds of equipment. I mean, just the boots and the helmet alone. Look at this. Uh, I'm going to need some training. But once you get all the breathing apparatus on, oh, that's a workout right there. So definitely something you need to be physically and mentally fit for. Uh, and the written test. I mean, there's so much that goes into this. That is the very starting line of it all. And recently, 1,000 people showed up at the Phoenix Convention Center to start the process of becoming a firefighter recruit. And they're looking to hire right now. So if this is something that you're interested in, definitely uh, get on board. That's re really the first step is that written test. Of the 1,000 people, Phoenix Fire plans to hire about 200 people off that list. But it is a complex process, you guys. About 65% of those that pass the written test will then move on to the oral interviews. And with that being said, though, not everyone has the right qualifications. Phoenix Fire Captain Rob McDade says there are certain requirements that must be met in order for someone to be chosen to go into the academy. You need to have your EMT, right? Your emergency medical technician, you can get it online. You can go to local community colleges. Just Google in your community, how do I get my EMT, right? That's your ticket in to, to be hired by us. A lot of folks get their firefighter one and two at the local community colleges. Uh, but again, we're not looking for you to be dedicated in the field of public safety right now. We'll get you there. Keep in mind, everyone goes in as a firefighter recruit, then they have the opportunity to expand their career. So maybe you want to become an engineer. Do you want to drive one of the big trucks, to promote to captain, become a paramedic or fire investigator? The list goes on and on. You can even work at the airport or put in for a specialty. You know, in the summertime, we cover all the rescues up on the mountains. That's their test technical rescue team members that conduct those rescues. There are truly endless possibilities, but hey, you got to be able to wear the gear and wear it well and be physically fit. And it's more about the stamina. So that's what we're hearing. Uh, rather than just lifting, you know, 500 pounds, it's about the long run, right? Can you hold up? Can you get through that fire and be ready to uh, take a little break and then head to the next fire? So coming up in the next hour, uh, we're going to talk about this next generation of firefighters. Their department is not facing any short so that's the good news in all of this, but that's because they're being proactive and they're thinking ahead. So coming up, we're going to talk about how they're doing that to make sure uh, that they are definitely prepared for that next call that comes. Live in Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News, today in AZ.